Hey everyone, it's Jamie here from Ecom Masterclass, and in this video, I'll be going over the Shopify page structure. I'll be doing so of giving you just an overview of how a page should look. But before I dive into it, I want to thank our sponsor, ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator available on the Shopify App Store. It's going to allow you to skip the spreadsheets and get back to growing your store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations to understand how profitable your Shopify store truly is. There's a link in the description to access a 15-day free trial, so make sure you check that out. I'm also going to show a quick promo video. Are you a Shopify business owner who spends hours doing your accounting? Have messy spreadsheets kept you from growing your business? Discover ProfitCalc. The affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. Now let's dive into the Shopify page structure. So we'll start just giving you an overview of the pages section, how that's going to appear in the theme customization, also diving into a little bit of the code so you can have a better understanding of how the structure works. So from your Shopify homepage here, you can simply head to the left hand side menu. You're going to click on online store. This is going to expand a few tabs and you're going to want to go down to pages here. When you're under pages, you can click add a page. This will give you the basic page overview. We can then create a page with a title and then there's going to be the content section. At the bottom, you have your search engine listing preview. On the right hand side, you're going to have it, the visibility. There's also set a visibility date. So if you want this page to be only available after a certain time period or on a certain date, you can set this here. Right now, I'm gonna leave it as visible. And in the bottom left, you have your theme template. So this is gonna depend on your Shopify theme, but some themes are gonna have different templates here to help you make certain pages. This is a default page here, and this theme does come with a basic contact us page as well. With your pages, there's not gonna be a lot of customization here as you can only set the title and create some content. If you're looking for more customizations, there are plenty of landing page builders that allow you to build custom pages with no code editors, making them super easy to edit. Let's go and create a test page here. I'm just gonna call it about us. I'm just gonna add some random text here and then hit save. Now I can view this page by hitting view page in the top right here. And so we can see our page has ended in the middle here between the header menu section and below we have the footer section. So it's just going to insert that content in between. So you can see our title here and then the content. Let me show you this from the theme section as well. So if we head to online store on the left, click on themes. You can then scroll over here to the customize button. It should be green so it stands out a little bit. Now if we head to an about us page this is going to be another about us page i created we can see this is the default page template if we go back here we can see the theme template is default page so again we can see it's sandwiched between the header section and then the footer section these blue icons here are going to give you a better idea as well here in the theme section you do get the ability to add different sections here so you might want to add a blog post or a collage this will give you more customization to the basic page it can kind of keep this as the initial section, then add more content here as you can add more blocks with Shopify's theme 2.0. But the core page section here and the structure will just be this section. With the page section, there's not a lot of customization. We can see the padding here, so top padding, so how much space between this blue border here and the main content, and then the bottom padding. If I move that up to 100 pixels, I can see it now expands between this blue bottom and the bottom of my text content. So overall, not a ton of customization there, but that is the structure and how it's gonna fit in. But you do get the ability to add different sections. There's quite a bit of customization here in the different sections as you're gonna email signups, collages, collapsible content, rich text, slideshows, videos, and more. Lastly, I wanted to show you the code of the page section. As you can see how Shopify's backend will use this information to create the page here. So if I go to the three dots on the theme section, then I go down to edit code, I'm not going to save anything here. I'm just going to give you an idea of how it looks. So if we go to templates on the left, when we go all the way down to page, this is going to be the default page theme here. So you can see the padding default here. So 28 and the padding bottom. Those are the two sections we were able to edit. And you can see it's going to show up in the main section. So right there is between the header and the footer. Go under the sections folder and we scroll down to pages again. You can see this is what Shopify will load here. We have your style tags. Those are going to be the style sheets. So it's going to be loading different styling data on how it's going to look. You can see padding top and bottom here as well. You have certain things involving the page title and the schema on how the page is going to actually load. Now you don't really need to understand any of this to create the pages. I just wanted to give you an overview of how Shopify is going to render that data. So this is going to conclude the video on the page structure for your Shopify store. 
I just wanted to create this video to give you an overview of how it's going to work and load. So if you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Lastly, I want to mention ProfitCalc one more time, the one-click profit calculator available on your Shopify store. Let's head to the Shopify app store and you can test drive everything for yourself with a 15-day free trial. There's also a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.